Hi, Brooke here from Clear Creek Farm. Um, today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to take you with me as I go open up the barns and do morning feeding. So come along and see how that gets. All right, most of the time I like to sneak out here because they see me and then they start to complain. Oh, we got chocolate cream and Dixie there, and with one of the bucks, they're gonna hopefully have babies in March. I'm gonna open the feed room. It's a order of business. It's to feed the bucks. So let's get this done first. I'll go ahead and scoop that out. here and grab a third bucket. Since there's three pens. Oh, and the loud mouse are now awake. One of our sale lots is leaving this weekend. Rendezvous, complaining, renegade. Oh, now we'll set the buckets down. And open up the butt barn. Hi, guys. What you doing, Gizmo? So now everybody in there is. I'll fed their feed. I'll go get them some hay now. <laughs> you know, all these guys thinking that the screaming and the hollering is going to get them fed faster. I don't, I, I will never understand that because I can't you know, be in more than one place at a time I'm only one person so them hollering and screaming at me just because they are gonna get fed faster or ridiculous so now I'll come in here and open this to get some hay complainers because you know they're starving to death so I'll grab them some hay and go from there now I'll go in and feed these complainers these are the juniors come on clean their, their feeder out because you see it's full of nastiness because they think they have to stand in it. Get that cleaned out. Now we'll dump the feed in. Alright, let's get them let back in before they have a heart attack. Notice how much quieter it gets after these idiots in here get fed. Uh, and they certainly look like they're, uh, you know, starving. Now we'll go out and we'll keep on 
Feel. What's the gizmo dog? It's the gizmo. What's she doing? What's she doing, Giz? What's she doing? Oh, good boy, Giz. Yeah. Yes. He's usually not loud in the barn, so he's probably pretty excited. He's I called him in here. Ah. Oh bear. Oh bear. And there's the other ball. There's the other dog. It is big snoop. Good boy. Bear sleeps in the barn at night because we've had raccoons come in and kill rabbits inside their cage, pull them basically through the cage. So he's in here to keep that from happening. So now we'll go feed Miss Snowflake. Yes, I hear you, Latina. Getting a snowflake here. She's she's on a diet. She's a little on the chunky side. Champion Drive bucket there does not have Champion Drive in it. It has cat food in it. In case any of you are wondering. It is not Champion Drive. We used that stuff years ago. And the containers make... Are really good at holding other things. So, that's why it's sitting there. Alright. So now I'll go ahead and get these guys fed. Because, you know, they're starving too. Now we'll go and open up the other barn. I didn't get your face though, but I mean, well, there? No. Yeah. Hair in my mouth. Leaves. Every going. Ew, my foot stuck. Why do I be going wrong right now? Foot got stuck. Then there was poop everywhere in the other barn.
to give hay. Now I've already hayed this barn, so we'll go to the next one. <laughs> Tennessee. Look like the Tennessee. And that pen is around bell outside, so we don't need anything. These guys are all finished. I'll go ahead and take that feeder out.
Baby bunnies, they're so adorable. Okay, everybody has hay, been fed, and has water. So I will come out here in a little bit after I get the girls started on their schoolwork. I will get Come back out here and clean pens, sweep the floors, all that wonderful stuff that goes along with taking care of these goats. No, it's not. Taking care of these guys is pretty much a full-time job and right now we're in the height of, of breeding season. We're trying to get those bred for February, March babies. Uh, so we'll get we'll get that that done hopefully, and then we'll put another group in in November. So that way we'll have April, May babies, which I don't really like. I'd rather prefer everybody to get out in February, March, but. You know, we only have so much space, so unfortunately, that is just what we have to do. Thank you guys for, uh, Coming along as I open up the barns and fed goats today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and this is pretty much my morning routine.